The LR G200 integrated rebar scanner of Langry is suitable for detecting the position of rebbers. Depth of concrete cover and diameter of rebbers. In reinforced concrete structures and can accurately analyze the distribution of rebbers. The scanner is designed as an integrated type for single hand operations. It is equipped with a 3, 2 can touch screen for easier operation and more intuitive display of measurement result. The scanner is adopted with combined detection method of high power transmitting coil and multiple groups of small coils, providing multiple scanning modes for different detection environments. It supports detection of small and large ranges and automatically generates 3D images with more flexible data detection. Online management software is also provided for easier data management. The specific steps are as follows. Press the power button to start the machine. There are four functional units on, main menu, rebar detection, data viewing, system settings, and data deletion. Select the corresponding icon by pressing the up and down buttons, and click OK to enter the system or directly touch the screen. Functional Unit I, System Settings. The system settings function is mainly used for users' customized system configuration parameter information, including power saving setting, sound setting, time setting, stirrup spacing, and wireless management. Among them, the stirrup spacing setting includes stirrup spacing, main rebar spacing, range selection, and rebar type. Stirrup spacing. Pre-scan the stirrup spacing during field inspection. If the stirrup spacing is less than 120 mm, set the parameters to 60, 80, 100, according to the actual situation, and the scanner will make corresponding compensation. If the stirrup spacing is greater than 120 mm, it is necessary to set the parameters to greater than 120. Main rebar spacing. When the main rebar spacing is less than 80 mm, it is necessary to input data according to the average spacing of the detected structure. When the main rebar spacing is more than 80 mm, it is necessary to set the parameters to greater than 80. Range selection. If the thickness of the concrete cover is within 100 mm, it is recommended to use small range, otherwise it is necessary to switch to large range mode. Rebar type. The options include threaded rebar and round rebar. Set the type according to the detected rebar. Before detection, the rebar type must be set correctly, otherwise the measurement accuracy will be affected. Please set other system options according to the need. Functional Unit II. Rebar Detection. The rebar detection unit is mainly used for the detection of concrete cover depth. Rebar position, rebar diameter and rebar distribution, with five scanning modes, regulation scanning, profile scanning, grid scanning, fine scanning, and image scanning. Scanning parameter setting. No matter which scanning mode is used, the scanning parameters need to be set first. Parameters that can be modified are as follows. 1. Object name duck. The object name consists of number, letter, symbol, up to 12 characters, at least one character, please set it as required. 2. Design diameter, it is for setting the diameter of detected rebar. The diameter can be set from 6 to 50, involving 15 kinds of rebar specifications. In both grid and image scanning modes, both lateral and longitudinal diameters need to be set. 3. Design depth. It is for setting the design depth of concrete cover of the detected rebar, which can be set from 2 to 200 mm. In both grid and image scanning modes, the design depth of X and Y directions need to be set. 4. Structure type. It is for setting the type of the detected rebar structure. You can choose two structure types, beam and slab. Scanning mode I quick scanning. But after the scanning parameters are set, click on the detection, and the device prompts that the device self-calibration will be carried out first. At this time, it is necessary to lift the instrument in the midair, keep it away from metal objects, and then press the OK button to start calibration. 
Detection can begin when the screen displays calibration completed. Specific detection method. Move the rebar scanner slowly and uniformly to the right for scanning. When the rebar scanner is close to the rebar, a green aiming box appears on the screen and then moves the rebar scanner slowly. The green aiming box will move slowly and approach the center line. When the green aiming box coincides with the center line, it will turn red. The red indicator light turns on with a buzzing. The laser light in front of the instrument will draw a red vertical line to mark the position of the rebar. When you move the rebar scanner to detect another rebar, the instrument will prompt as above, and at this time, the thickness of concrete cover and the spacing from the previous rebar will be displayed. As shown in the figure, the current concrete cover is 26 mm thick, the concrete cover of the previous rebar is 26 mm thick, and the spacing between the two rebars is 99 mm. During the measurement, long press the three-point button on the upper right corner to view the current rebar diameter and the thickness of the concrete cover. Scanning Mode II Profile Scanning The profile scanning is a scanning mode that displays the position of detected rebar, the depth of concrete cover, the spacing of adjacent rebars, the diameter detected and other information in the form of a longitudinal profile distribution diagram. The central solid line is the design datum line formed by inputting the design depth value before the detection, and the dotted lines above and below the datum line are the positive and negative deviation lines specified in the regulation. The detection data beyond this range are considered as unqualified data. This is similar to the normal scanning. Scanning Mode II Fine Scanning The fine scanning mode displays the waveform, position of rebar, depth of concrete cover, center distance of adjacent rebars, estimated diameter and other information of the detected rebars in the form of a waveform diagram. Under complex conditions, you can judge whether there is abnormal rebar, according to the distribution of the waveform, such as obviously small waveform fluctuation and narrow waveform width. In case of the above conditions, you can manually delete the rebar measuring point by pressing the F and button, normally to avoid affecting the overall detection data of the structure. Note, the measurement will stop when you use the function of manual adding and deleting measuring points. Fine scanning is designed specifically for dense rebars. In fine scanning mode, press up or down button to enter dense rebar mode. When fine scanning interface appears, Place the instrument on the surface of the detected object and move slowly to the right for starting measurement. The screen will display the signal waveform and display the real-time displacement value at lower part of the screen. When the instrument approaches the rebar, the signal value starts to increase and the waveform curve slowly increases. When the instrument is away from the rebar, the waveform curve decreases slowly and a wave peak appears. The peak shows the position of the rebar. A white line will be displayed at the peak, indicating that there is a rebar here, and the depth of concrete cover will be displayed above the peak. Rebar spacing is shown below the peak. The fine scanning mode supports a maximum scanning distance of 10M, and the scanning process should be slow and constant. Scanning mode IV, grid scanning. The grid scanning shows the position of detected rebar, the depth of concrete cover, and spacing between rebars in the form of a grid diagram. The distribution of rebars can be clearly seen by grid scanning. Under grid detection, perform the horizontal scanning first. When the rebars in the horizontal direction are already scanned, press the OK button to switch to the vertical scanning. After the scanning is completed, press the C button to save the data and exit. Scanning Mode V, Image Scanning The image scanning mode combines fine scanning and grid scanning to perform comprehensive analysis through multiple scanning in horizontal and vertical directions within a specific area, which is suitable for irregular distribution of rebars. In the image scanning, a maximum of 5 asterisk 5 grid area can be scanned, i.e., five lateral scans and five longitudinal scans. The scanning sequence can be selected at will.
After the scan data is imported into the computer, the analysis software can generate the data into 3D graphics for visual view of the rebar distribution. Functional Unit II, Data Viewing. The data viewing unit is mainly for viewing the detection data of each detected structure and data stored in the rebar scanner. The instrument provides two data viewing methods, graphics and list. Functional Unit IV, Data Deletion. Data deletion function mainly enables manual data deletion. Note that the data deleted cannot be recovered. Please operate with care.